In this video, we're going to tie a fly called the Schroeder's Parachute Caddis. First thing we're going to do is start with the Daiichi 1180 hook in a size 14 and some Vivas 14 aught tan colored thread. Now, the first material that we're going to tie in is just going to be some natural hair's ear dubbing. Dubbed fairly sparse to start, just enough to kind of coat the thread, and then you'll just slowly build it up as you work your way forward. And you want to stop about two-thirds up the shank of the hook, about a third of the way from the eye. And we're ready to tie in our wing. For that, we're just going to use a piece of turkey, cut a little notch in the end of it. And we're going to tie it in so that it hangs over the butt of the fly by about a quarter inch. And you can super glue or cement this wing to keep it kind of from falling apart on you. You can use soft hex as well. Any of those materials will do a good job. Trim out those butt ends. Now we're ready to tie in our parachute. And for that, I've just used a little bit of white calf body hair. I've dropped it inside a stacker, tried to get those tips as even as I could get them. We're going to tie this in so that it's about the length of the shank of the hook. A few tight wraps to start and before I let go I'm going to sneak in there with my scissors and just cut the back of that feather or those uh, fibers off. Try not to trim your turkey if you can get away with it or else you'll have to start all over again. Something I'm sure we've all done too many times. And I'm going to pull up all that calf body hair and I'm going to lay down some wraps right in front of it. I've got some fibers here that are just in my way. There we go. I think I got them. Then we can take a nice big wrap all the way around all that calf. Drop your thread down to the thorax and jump back up. I like to jump down to the thorax every once in a while. That just kind of basically saves your work. That way if you accidentally slip up, you don't lose all of it. There we go. Now we can tie in our hackle. Just take a piece of whiting grizzly hackle here. I'm going to tie it in right in front of that parachute post and I'll actually draw it up and tie it around the post. And I'll find my way back down, trim out the stem, and we are ready to kind of finish the fly. And for that, you're just going to use that same hair's ear dubbing. And we're just going to cover up all that work we just did. Kind of just slowly covering everything up. Got to be real careful you don't just clump it all on there. Want to dub fairly sparse 
and just kind of cover up everything. Every once in a while, just rotate the vise around to kind of make sure that you're you're covering everything up that you wanted to cover up. And if you miss something, you can always just add a smidgen more and finish it up. There we go. Then I'm just going to let my thread hang off the back side of the fly. I'm going to take that hackle and just get it started right there at the top and then just slowly creep your way down that post. Sometimes I use a hackle plier to get in there or a whip finisher to help keep a few of the fibers from getting trapped. I can see a couple of them here. There we go. Fish probably don't care, but sometimes my OCD can spot that from a mile away. And we're just going to take that thread and I'm just going to creep it under everything. Draw all those hackle fibers. Usually three tight, well-placed wraps is all you need. Trim out the tip of that hackle feather. Then we can whip finish. I like to use a long reach, six inch Dr. Slick whip finisher. What that allows me to do is get it underneath all that stuff. And then of course you can put some head cement under there. And that is a finished Schroeder's Parachute Caddis.